Tom and Huck's Hidden Treasure, Chapter 1 My name is Huck Finn. You might not know about me unless you have read Asterix, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Asterix. That book was written by Mr. Mark Twain, and he mostly told the truth. There were some things he exaggerated, but it was mostly true. Tom Sawyer, Aunt Polly Mary, and the Widow Douglas are all mentioned in that book. In the end of that story, Tom and I found treasure in a cave. It was a lot of money. We got $6,000 each, all in gold. Judge Thatcher took the money and saved it for us. We each got $1 every day, just from the interest. We didn't know what to do with so much money. The widow Douglas took me into her home and said she would make me a civilized boy. But I didn't like living in a house all the time. The widow was too proper, and everything was too regular. So, I ran away. I put on my old, dirty clothes and went back to my old life. I felt free again. But Tom Sawyer found me and told me about his new plan. He said he was going to start a gang of robbers, and I could join him if I returned to the widow's house and behaved. I didn't want to go back, but Tom convinced me. The widow cried when I came back. She called me her poor lost lamb and said I would be a good boy again. She put me in new clothes, but I didn't like them. I felt hot and uncomfortable. At dinner, the widow rang a bell. When we sat at the table, we had to wait for her to pray before we could eat. The food wasn't bad but I preferred food where everything was mixed together, not separate. After dinner, the widow read the Bible to me. She told me about Moses, and I wanted to know more. But then she said Moses had been dead for a long time, and I lost interest. I don't care much for dead people. Later, I asked the widow if I could smoke my pipe, but she said no. She told me it was a dirty habit. I didn't understand why she cared so much about Moses, who was dead, but wouldn't let me do something that made me happy. She took snuff, a type of tobacco herself, so it didn't seem fair to me. The widow's sister, Miss Watson, came to live with us. She was a skinny old lady with glasses, and she was always telling me what to do. She made me study from a spelling book and tried to make me sit up straight. She talked to me about heaven and said I should try to be good so I could go there. But she made heaven sound boring just playing a harp and singing all day. I didn't want to go there. That night, I felt very lonely. The stars were shining, and the wind was blowing softly. I could hear animals in the distance. An owl was hooting, and a dog was howling. It made me feel sad. Then, a spider crawled on me, and I flicked it off. It fell into the candle and burned up. I knew that was a bad sign and thought it would bring me bad luck. I was sitting by the window, thinking about everything, when I heard a noise outside. It was a meow. I answered with my own meow. Then I turned off the light, climbed out the window, and met Tom Sawyer in the trees. We were ready for a new adventure.